Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Carly discovered a heroic secret about her mother. In the General Hospital recap for Wednesday, January 10, 2024, a reporter tells Carly what Bobby was doing in Amsterdam. In this episode, Laura remembered her buddy, Tracy and Lucy reconciled, and those who loved Bobby had the opportunity to say their goodbyes. Now let's delve a little deeper into the details. An extremely emotional day. Carly prepared in her room for her mother's memorial, crying as she put on Bobby's jewelry. Meanwhile, Joss Drew and Michael greeted Lucas. They were all quite sad, yet they found solace in one another. Unfortunately, Carly received a call before leaving for the church and had to rush to Kelly's. The sign was broken, most likely due to a storm. Today, of all days, Liz, Rebecca Herbst, graciously volunteered to paint a new one, but nothing could match the original. Felicia prepared herself before she and Anna picked up Maxie for Bobby's service. Felicia was appreciative for the assistance, Maxie felt glad that Bobby saved her life by donating her daughter BJ's heart to her. Laura began her sorrow journey in the hospital, staring at Bobby's picture on the wall. She kissed it and told her she loved her before Spencer, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, approached her. Meanwhile, Sonny went to the chapel with Sam and Dante. Saying goodbye to Bobby, Carly joined her family at the church for a private moment before the memorial service. Nobody felt emotionally prepared, but they had to do what was necessary. Bobby's mourning entered the hall as a family and began welcoming other attendees. Drew proceeded to greet the priest, and Carly made a special point to thank Laura. Michael had a brief, tranquil moment with Willow, Caitlin McMullen. Tracy and Lucy were aware of the melancholy. They decided to put their animosity on hold at least for today. Alexis lighted a candle for her friend while she sang, and Pristina discussed Bobby's influence on their lives. Alexis flashed back to the time Bobby revealed her abusive history. Meanwhile, Maxie, Felicia, and Anna spotted a strange woman a few pews back. They questioned how she knew Bobby. A patient, perhaps. It wasn't long before the funeral began, with Lucas, Michael, Drew, Spencer, Felix, Mark Anthony Samuel, and Kevin carrying the casket. Laura presented a moving eulogy that emphasized Bobby's ability to love, her compassionate heart, and her everlasting support for everyone around her. Scott stated he couldn't think of anything to say, which is unusual. Bobby was a complicated woman who embodied all of the best qualities, kindness, sweetness, and generosity. Liz then discussed Bobby's childhood trauma and how she used it to heal herself. She was a healer who supported Liz throughout difficult moments. Carly arose to speak about her mother. She had no idea what true acceptance was until she found her birth mother. Bobby promised to always stay by her side. She sees Bobby whenever she looks at her children. She then switched to Bobby's picture to express her love for her and how the world would be drastically different without her. Following the funeral, the mourners dispersed, and Lucas lit a light and received a hug from Felix. Felix told him how wonderful Bobby was and how sorry he was for Lucas' death. He told about how much fun she had at the nurse's ball. She was delightful. Meanwhile, Maxie went to check on the mysterious woman. The woman presented herself as Angela Brighton, an AP reporter. She was doing an article about Bobby. Angela then accompanied Carly, Felicia, and Maxie back to Kelly's to hear her story. As it turned out, Bobby wasn't simply hiding in Amsterdam to deal with Luke's affairs. She was also assisting women fleeing human trafficking. Angela explained, Bobby started working with a non-profit to help women get out of bad situations as a means to rehabilitate from her own history. She was actually attempting to help someone right now. Bobby died before she could finish the job, however. Carly was naturally shocked. She soon determined to continue what her mother started and find the woman she was attempting to assist. She turned to Tracy, Jane Elliott, for solutions. Tracy didn't know much, 
but she referred Carly to a cafe where Bobby used to hang out and suggested Luke's old cabin in Canada. Carly grabbed her stuff and headed to Amsterdam. She had just left her house when Felicia arrived for the bag as well. They agreed to finish Bobby's task together. Will this assignment help Carly and Felicia find closure for Bobby Spencer? General hospital teasers for January 11, 2024, include the second installment of a special homage to departed GH head nurse Bobby Spencer. Carly and Felicia collaborate to resolve Bobby's unfinished business. Once again, this promises to be an intense episode that you will not want to miss. Residents of Port Charles have been finding ways to honor Bobby. They toasted her, and they grieved both alone and with relatives and friends. They've also come together as a town for a moving and tragic memorial ceremony. Despite the fact that Carly and Felicia are going through a difficult period, they have a goal that requires them to work together. They will travel to Amsterdam to complete some unfinished business that Bobby left behind. What does this unfinished business entail? And what unexpected challenges will they confront in order to achieve closure? While Carly and Felicia travel to Amsterdam, Bobby's friends and family in Port Charles continue to share their cherished recollections of the woman who had made a difference in the community she had called home for over 45 years. Maxie and a reporter will formally meet with the town's people. During these interviews, Bobby's friends and family will remember the stunning red-headed force of nature that was Bobby Spencer. Carly and Sonny recently discussed Bobby's involvement in their life at Kelly's, with Carly referring to her as the most sensitive and open-minded person I have ever met. And even sitting in Kelly's, she felt closer to her mother. Even though Bobby did not raise her, her influence on her life was tremendous. So it's no surprise that Carly would find the best way to memorialize Bobby. Before the end of this special episode honoring Bobby's life, Carly will pay a touching homage to her mother. In case you missed it, mornings on Soap Hub are reserved for comments or wild speculation about General Hospital's current stories, where they're heading, how they're doing, and sometimes simply what we hope to see in Port Charles in the near future. The GA star remembers both her on-screen and off-screen pal. Christina Wagner met the late Jacqueline Zeman nearly 40 years ago on General Hospital when she played Felicia Cummings. Wagner and the rest of the cast are now paying respect to Zeman's character, Bobby Spencer, in two special episodes that will run today and Thursday. Wagner spoke with Soap Hub about Zeman's life and legacy, as well as the sad farewell. Wagner joined GH in 1984 as Felicia Cummings, an Aztec princess. Her first major storyline entailed location shooting in Mexico before the character relocated in Port Charles, where Bobby Spencer became one of her closest friends. This may sound like I'm making this up, but I remember when I met Jackie that I wanted to be like her, Wagner said. This woman, whom I spoke to in the makeup room and saw in the halls, had a very happy personality. She sort of plows through the day with a super positive attitude. I was going through all the newness of being in this tornado as the new girl on the show, she recalls. Everything was new. Seeing Jackie's attitude made me want to be like her. Even though it was a long time ago, I remember it vividly. Hello, Barbara. The death of B.J. Jones, Bobby's adoptive daughter and namesake, brought together Jen Wagner and Zeman, who had been involved in numerous stories. Maxie, Felicia's little girl, required a heart transplant. When B.J. was certified brain, dead following a school bus accident, her heart was put into Maxie. A horrified Felicia hurried to see a sad Bobby after learning from Lucy that BJ was the donor. That storyline was similar to what we did all week when we said goodbye to Jackie and Bobby, Wagner remarked. It was a week-long event. You start in the morning and work all day, and your emotions are very tuned in. It's quite exhausting. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.